Oh my god. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, I, uh, sir, officer. I, I, I can, I can explain. I, no, sir, I, stay. No, sir. I, I, okay, I have. Okay. I understand. Come over I understand. Here. No, Come I, over I, here. I, no hey. why are you holding on hey. to No, hey. I don't understand. Hey. What are you doing? Oh, oh, God. Okay, so you're probably wondering how I got here. Uh, this is what you shouldn't do in a traffic stop. This hood is really warm. All right, guys, uh, I'm not actually getting arrested, so thank you for that. Yes, sir. But I am here with Sergeant Blackstock from the uh, Dawson County Sheriff's Department, and we're about to show you what you should and should not do when you get pulled over in a traffic stop, especially if you have firearms, because, you know, as gun-toting Americans, I'm probably gonna have a gun in the car. That's right. So uh, we're gonna show you how that happens, and Sergeant Blackstock's gonna assist us today. Cool, let's do it. So generally on a traffic stop, I want to keep my eyes on what I can see. In this case, it's the driver. So the first thing I'm going to do, make sure the trunk's closed. I'm looking at him to see if there's a lot of movement in the car. I want to make sure that he's not reaching for something, hiding something. Um, and so I usually check the trunk, make sure it's closed, make sure somebody's not going to hop out on me. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to look in this back window here, see if there's anybody in here. If I can see there's nobody in here, I'm going to keep moving forward. As I get to here, generally what I'm going to try to do is stay far enough back so that if somebody did try to pull a weapon on me, that I would have this B column here to sort of protect me. But right here in this situation, I can see both of his hands. How you doing, sir? I'm Sergeant Blackstock, Dawson County Sheriff's Office. The reason up? I stopped you today is because you don't have a, t a tag on your car. Is there a reason for that? Um, well, my brother uh, might have let me borrow his car. Okay. But, uh, hey, man, I, you know, I have a gun in here. You want hey, me to go do me a favor. No, just keep no, your hands right. Hey, 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 just keep your hands where I can see them. <laughs> hey, so basically we come into a lot of situations where a law-abiding citizen, a gun lover, decides that a traffic stop is a really good opportunity to show you their weapon. And I can... I have to tell you that that is not the case. <laughs> the best thing you can do right here is keep your hands visible at all times. Uh, and this goes for everybody. This goes for, you know, if you love guns or if you hate guns, the best thing you can do, keep your hands visible. And you can always say, I have a weapon in the car and let the officer decide at that point what they want to do. So let's try this again. So the reason I stopped you is because you don't have a tag on your car. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, man, my, my brother gave me this car and I just, you know, I've just forgot to put the tag on it when we left the house. Okay, all right. Um, you know, I do have a gun in here though. Um, I just want to let you know. Okay, where's the gun at? It's in my glove box. All right, cool. Is there any other weapons on you that I need to know about? Just these guns. Oh! So at this point, the officer is going to make a decision what they want to do and it's completely up to the officer how they want to handle that situation. Here in North Georgia, we expect that a lot of cars are going to have weapons in them. We just know that from the get-go. We know here in North Georgia that uh, someone might, might have a gun in their car, and that's okay. In a situation like this where a guy tells me, hey, I've got a gun in the dash, generally speaking, that's not something that worries me not like when he went to grab it. So this is a good example of how to handle a traffic stop, how to, how to deal with someone who has a weapon. If you notice, I got my hand right here. I don't want him coming out of the car until I tell him to, but it may happen where an officer, when you tell them you have a weapon in the car, they do ask you go ahead and step out of the car. It's not because you're in trouble. It's not out of the ordinary. It's just that they'd rather talk to you out here where, where the weapon's not um, in hand's reach. And so that's totally normal. So we'll do that now. All right, sir, if you don't mind, just step back here to the back of your car and just talk to me, all right? Do I have to get out, though? Yeah, I'd appreciate it if you just step back here and talk to me, okay? Okay. Well. Any more weapons on you, anything like that? No, no. All, all right, very good. I'm all good. So, like I said, the reason I stopped you, man, is because you don't have a tag. You got to have a tag on your car, okay? Yeah, but this is America. I mean, I can do what I want with it, though. So. All right, I appreciate you, sir. Let me get your license. Well, that's the thing. I don't have a license. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing. Like I said before, 
An officer has no idea who you are. They don't know who you are. So when they approach your vehicle, they have a very short amount of time to figure out what's going on. We don't know if you're what you're going through in your personal life. We don't know if you just robbed a bank. We have no idea. So what we do is we ask some questions to see if you're telling the truth. Criminals don't care. They're not going to tell the truth. But answer. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Criminals are not going to tell us, yes, sir, I have a gun in the car. We have to assume that, that someone might be wanting to hurt us, whether they're blatantly lying or whether it's very subtle. And so it's up to the officer to make a determination on how they handle a traffic stop to keep themselves safe. But in this situation right here, it's not only obvious that he has a weapon, which in and of itself is not a big deal, because if he's willing to lie to me about the weapon that I can see, is he also willing to use it? And why is he hiding that weapon in the first place? So again, these are things that officers are thinking about. And the best thing you can do is be honest. The best thing you can do is be upfront and tell the truth. Someone who doesn't have anything to hide is generally not gonna lie. And that being said, uh, just, just be honest. Cops have a job to do. And, and sometimes that job interferes with what you're doing in your life, but honesty is always gonna be the best policy when it comes to things like this. But I absolutely don't have a gun in the car though. Are you sure? I'm at least 80% positive. Okay. Which is a B plus. Do me a favor, step out. 80 not what? Go ahead and step out. I, come on, go ahead let's go. go. Come on. I don't want- Come, come on. My gun just fell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, those are just a few instances of me being an idiot, but, <laughs> Uh, Sergeant Blackstock, you know, going through all the situations that we've done today, there's there's obviously like tons of yeah. other situations, right? Oh, yeah. Like, so there's, we can't possibly cover every single one, but at least we kind of hit on it from a firearm perspective because, you know, we are in Georgia, we are a pro Second Amendment state, mm -hmm. and so is the Dawson County Sheriff's Office, very right. pro Second Amendment. So, um, have you seen any other situations or just maybe any pros and cons of, you know, these type of interactions just from your perspective that you can tell everybody? You know, I have to say the majority of interactions I have with the public um, involving firearms is usually pretty positive. I, it happens all the time where I stop a vehicle and someone will say to me, hey officer, just so you know, I got a, you know, I got a weapon or I got a carry license or whatever. And that's always positive. Sometimes people don't say that and I see it and I know it and I'm okay with that. That doesn't hurt my feelings. The biggest thing is just making sure that you know not only your rights but also that you know the laws and you're and you're staying within the law and the way i like to think of it is that a law-abiding citizen if if they're traveling from georgia to california um, a law-abiding citizen is going to go through and look at every state and every law and everywhere i'm going and a criminal is not going to do that they're not going to care about the law they're not going to care about what state they're traveling through right and from a from a law enforcement perspective we understand that that People have weapons to protect themselves. If you're going to the range, that's great. We want people who carry firearms to go to the range. That's awesome. Oh yeah. But uh, people who who don't obey the laws, they're not concerned with telling me they have a firearm. Right. They're not gonna be up front and, and tell me, hey, I've got something that could potentially kill you. Well, kinda, it kind of helps though, right? You know, whenever someone, whenever you do pull somebody over, it could be for anything. It could be for an expired tag or you're like, hey, your license or your registration expired or your insurance lapsed or whatever it is. But if you come up to that person and they're upfront and honest with you right off the bat, mm -hmm. that, that helps your situation tremendously, right? If they're, if they're being does. honest about everything immediately, it makes the situation go so much smoother. <laughs> That's right. We appreciate it and that, that we look at and say, hey, that was really nice of them to tell us. They didn't have to, but they're being up front. They're trying to make our job a little easier. And I think that's the key to it is, is just people who, who are easy to work with, it, it makes our job that much better. Um, right. And the majority of the citizens we deal with are like that. I would say the majority of traffic stops we deal with, people, um, you know, they want to go on about their day. Nobody's trying to, you know, right. to, to do anything crazy. So we appreciate that every time. A civilian perspective, you know, if I can make it as easy as I can for you, tell you everything you need to know, I'm cordial with you and a lot of stuff that we didn't do like I didn't do the whole thing where I pull my phone out and I put it in your face and I'm like I'm recording you maybe on YouTube That's you know right. you don't have to be that way but you know 
if if I make it as easy for you, like if I'm cordial, if I'm nice with the officer that's conducting the stop, you know, that I get out of there quicker. Like if I've got a place to be or I'm mm -hmm. trying to rush, yeah, it's an inconvenience to get pulled over, but right. you have a reason for it. Usually you have a reason to pull right. somebody over. So if I can just give you everything you need, be honest about it, I can get out of there as quick as as quick as can be. And they got a job to do. They got a they either have to give you a ticket or they have to give you a warning or whatever the case may be. And um and so honesty and transparency and, you know, here, I did what I did, let's go, let's move on with life. Right. And that's all we, that's all we can ask for. Well, that's awesome, man. And I, I'm glad that we were able to do this to kind of help shed some light about it. But I just want to thank you guys and the sheriff's office and kind of help us walk through this and kind of show it off and, you know, show the different situations. So I appreciate you guys. It was, it's really awesome that you were able to come out here and help us. Yeah, we hope it was helpful. We hope the viewers enjoy it. You know, one thing that, that we've tried to do as a sheriff's office is get involved in the community, um, get in certain instances where it may be a little uncomfortable for me to be on camera, but to say, hey, you know, here's stuff we deal with on a daily basis. Give the viewers a little bit of an idea of what it's like from my perspective, and maybe that'll help you guys make decisions in the future. And, um, and hopefully you look at the sheriff's office and realize that we're not all just out here trying to give tickets. Sometimes we're, we're trying to help educate, we're trying to, to be informative, trying to, you know, again, we're, we're very pro Second Amendment. We want people to exercise their rights. Um, and at the same time, we want to go home to our families at the end of the night. And I think that if both sides understand that, then we, get, we all have a better understanding or agreement of, of how to move forward. I, I will say traffic stops are some of the most dangerous um, calls we go to. Um, Anything involving weapons, you know, can tend to be dangerous. Cops have a difficult job nowadays because with all the different things we have to think about on a, on a call, um, one of them is, does this person intend to do me harm? Mm -hmm. And so it's good. I think videos like this are important for viewers to take a look at and say, here are ways that I can help the officer and I can keep myself safe and uh, we go on about our day. That's awesome. Well, Sergeant, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you for not hurting me. Um, <laughs> but guys, if you enjoy the content, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have questions for us and for uh, the Sheriff's Department, drop it down below because I'll, I'll be able to try and answer questions if I can answer from any kind of perspective. But if you guys have any questions, you can also reach out to the Dawson County Sheriff's Office, right. you know, to ask questions with them. And, you know, especially if you live in this area. So we appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. officer that's conducting the stop I mean I've got a car going off <laughs> oh they're stealing oh they're stealing no um you want to go arrest somebody you know I hope you guys like me getting thrown into the, the hood of the car so <laughs> yeah absolutely I